welcome back to another episode of Monday Night Raw Recap. And yes, it's just me. I'm alone. Dustin's at his house and Missy's busy. So, just me. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. What started off Raw was Vince McMahon. He's pretty much saying this is going to be a Raw that you'll never forget. And then... He got interrupted by Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns gets in the ring. Vince is like, you better not be thinking about super, punch super punching me again. Because he got uh, police to escort him out. And uh, Roman's like, you better watch that tone. And then he was saying, yes, I'm on SmackDown now. But I was on Raw before. And yeah, I was on top here. For like, like, I don't remember, like, five years, something like that, was on there. Um, let's see. And then, Vince is pretty much saying, um, oh yeah, Roman was like, I'm not gonna take orders from you no more. I listen to the fans. They want me here every, every Monday. I'll be here every Monday. And Vince is saying, it's not, that's not gonna happen. And then Danny Bryan showed up. He just pretty much, he just pretty much wants a rematch for the title because, yeah. And then uh, Kofi comes out, and Kofi's like, "You don't have to go to the McMahon's if you want a title shot. Just come to me." And then Daniel's saying on and on and on, saying Kofi's win was a fluke, blah blah blah. He should never won. Um, pancakes and whatever, and, um, Kofi's like, well, what do I have now? It's paid off. And then, let's see. And then, then was saying something about a wild card rule, where I guess three from Raw can go on SmackDown, three from SmackDown can go on Raw. Um... Oh, he was saying that. And then... Oh, let's see. Then... Let's see. Let's see. Then Vince was saying... Let's, why not? Let's have two WrestleMania rematches. Uh, it's, I'm brilliant. And then he's like, I'm brilliant. Awesome. Um, he's saying about Kofi, uh, Roman Reigns or Drew McIntyre, because Drew McIntyre came out, obviously. Um, and he's just yapping his mouth about Roman Reigns. Um, and then the other one was Kofi and Dana Bryan for the title. No, all of a sudden he's one. Then here comes AJ Styles. Then went to a commercial and then back with just Vince Styles in the ring and Vince is saying about the wild cards and then Styles is all like, okay. Then Seth Rollins comes out and then he's saying, this ain't Smackdown, this ain't the house that you build, this is Monday Night Rollins. And Styles knows what he did last week. Um, Vince is not talking about one-on-one, -on -one. it's going to be a team, because they thought they were going to have a match, one-on-one, -on -one, when Vince said match, but Vince is my team. So, but, that was that. So, that's the first nights of the night, Seth Rollins and AJ Styles, versus Bobby Lashley and Baron Corbin. Um, Bobby Lashley and Baron Corbin actually win. Because Styles, he did a phenomenal forearm to Rollins, and then he just walked away. And Rollins is looking back at Styles, and ends up getting into an ends of days by Barry Corbin for the win. So we obviously knew that was gonna happen. Um, and then Sami Zayn is out. He's just pretty much talking his bull, and. Then Braun comes out. He's just pretty much chasing Sam Zayn all over the place. And he ends up putting him in a garbage thing. And then he has the garbage truck come and grab him. And then leaves. 
First porta potty to Owens. Now it's garbage to Sami Zayn. <laughs> Gotta love Braun Strowman. And then the next match was Lucha House Party. Pretty much, they pretty much went against local talent, so you know how that ends up being. They did their like top rope move for the win, obviously. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. And then you got Ricochet coming out versus Robert Rude. And if Robert Rude wins, he takes Ricochet's spot in the Money in the Bank. But Ricochet's still in the Money in the Bank. He won with a 450 for the win. That was that. And then there was a backstage segment with Naomi, Natalia, and Dana Brooke. They've all got these cards from Lacey Evans. I guess they invited her out to the ring because the next match is uh, Lacey Evans. She ends up, of course, going against local talent, obviously. Can't go against a real opponent, has to go against that. Well, Lacey Evans, she ends up um, beating the local talent with, um, what's that thing? A woman's right. And then she's like, to, to the four girls, Dana, Bliss, and Naomi, and Natty. And she's like, I hope you guys know I have a good win. That was a classy win. You guys, if either of you think of catching when I win that title, it's going, you're going to learn to never, ever do that. Because I will show you and then she then she mentioned the man and then out comes Becky and then they're just fighting 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 so and then uh, of course she ends up being like in the ring and then uh, Lacey Evans is like uh, being all classy oh classy and then end up being um Viking Raiders versus Hawkins and Ryder the Viking Raiders won. They did a Viking experience, so they obviously get a title shot. Um, now it's the first WrestleMania 35 rematch. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Roman Reigns wins. He um he he um he did a spear to Drew McIntyre, but ended up being a DQ because Shane and Elias came out and because they're attacking on Roman. And then the Miz came out coming with a chair, and Shane's going in the audience. Uh, the Miz chase after him up in the audience, and then, and then I end up being a claymore kick to Roman Reigns. So then you see um the Miz chasing uh Shane all over the place, and um Miz hides. Shane's like, ooh, 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 there's my limo, there's my limo, but boom, out comes the Miz from behind, attacks him. Oh my god, I did another Firefly Funhouse. I don't know about this Firefly Funhouse. I'm, I don't even know. Oh man. It's like, now there's this, this the bird, buzzer bird thing ate the rabbit. Like, what? I don't even know. But then now there was a thing with Rey Mysterio and his son Dominic. And then Dominic, you see walking, you see Simone and Joe walking behind him, and then it came back with Joe talking to Dominic, saying about sending send this message to your dad, saying that he's gonna beat him, pretty much. So that. Um, and then there was supposed to be a match with the revival versus I think the club, but it ended up not even happening because the <laughs> the Usos. Came out with this oozy hat. Oh my god. <laughs> and they're just saying. <clears throat> saying. It should work in like five, four, three, And all of a sudden you see the revival itching their butts. All on the, all in the ring. And all itching, itching, itching. And um, the Usos are saying. Here you, you can take water. Water. And they're taking the water. And they're pouring it there in the area and shaking it and then the Uso was like no Oos you're not supposed to pour it on your little Oos supposed to drink the water and they're like huh 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 and get all crazy all over the place this was like funny 
but anyway the main event was a, the, the second WrestleMania 35 rematch for Kofi Kingston for Stan and Bryan for the WWE World Championship that was an amazing match kept going but Kofi Kingston won he won with a trouble in paradise like always he's been winning with that um Dana Bryan tried, he tried to put him in submission, he tried running knee in him, but it just wasn't too good. Wasn't too good enough. Oh yeah, there was a no way Jose thing. He pretty much was um walking around and then he got in the ring and Lars Sullivan came. And Lars Sullivan took attacked the Congo eye, just the men obviously. And then uh No Way Jose comes and attacks him, but <laughs> You know, Lars Sullivan stand all obviously, but I think Lars Sullivan came into Vince McMahon's office also after that. I don't really remember too much on that part, but I think he probably he probably was saying like he was, you know. But that's pretty much was Monday Night Raw. Really, it wasn't really much. What was that? All that. The funny thing was with the uh, Usos, I say. I say that. I say the Usos. That was the funniest. Um, how did you like Monday Night Raw? Did you um enjoy the Usos? Did you like the, did you thought of the Firefly Firefly Funhouse of Bray Wyatt was another weird segment? Um can't you wait to see Seth Rollins with AJ Styles with the money in the bank? Um, was it funny with Sami Zayn running away from Braun Strowman and ends up in the garbage? <laughs> um, Lacey Evans or Becky Lynch? Let us know. So, um, that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time for Smackdown tonight. Bye.